Well, I've been having some really great conversations with the students, which I think it's really, it's always really nice to kind of step out of the institution you're a part of, and, and uh, there's some pretty exciting work happening here. Generally speaking, when I visit another school, it's not such a common thing. It's usually very focused on whatever on the metals department, and I think it is really important because I think it's great for. I mean, I know I know that the students here have access to people outside of their areas, but um, I mean, from a purely selfish perspective, I, it's it's been really great to see what's going on in other areas, and I think that the feedback they got from me might be different from the feedback they're getting from their department. Um, it's, I think it might be kind of a newer thing for them. I think there's a lot of things going on in, in the field of metal smithing that maybe other people aren't aware of. You know, jewelry has such a specific connotation um, that if people aren't kind of stepping into the field of metal smithing and seeing um, all the possibility that can, I mean, I think jewelry represents something that's really incredible in terms of citing art on the body and kind of the history of adornment. And I think that people, people have a really specific idea of what they think of as jewelry, being something that you go to the Zales to buy the engagement ring or whatever. And I think that what we're doing is way more expansive than that. And the body's an incredible opportunity for citing work. So I think that, yeah, I think it is good for people outside the area to have more interaction with that, kind of have a deeper understanding of what it is we're actually exploring. It's, it's a necessary distinction given the culture that we live in because, like I said, people think of jewelry as having, like, being something very specific and very small, you know, like kind of things that mark really specific incidents in one's life, like most specifically like a wedding and an engagement, I think is probably the first thing that people might think of when they think of jewelry. And I think art jewelry is kind of concerned with something far more, far broader and far more conceptual in nature. So I think the distinction is kind of necessary, although when I think of jewelry, of course, I don't, I don't necessarily need to make that distinction because I understand that there's this entire continuum of how it exists and that the power of an engagement ring is as powerful as the power of any um, ideas I might be trying to convey through my jewelry. Um, they all exist together. They're all kind of conversing with each other, informing each other. Um, but I think, you know, in terms of kind of introducing the rest of the world to how we're thinking about it, it is a necessary distinction. In some ways, I think it's a richer metaphor because of its interaction with the body, because of its intimacy. Um, it's one thing to hang a metaphor on the wall. It's another thing to hang that metaphor on your body. Um, so. But I think that the, the way that the metaphor plays out or the strategy that one uses to kind of like convey that metaphor, are, we're using a lot of the same strategies. Yeah. It was a little, it was a little choppy. It's been intense, you know? It's like three full days of talking. And, um, but the conversation has been good.